This is a seat and seat post that came off a council collection uh, find. The seat's pretty brand new, but what I did notice about it was, other than the seat post being, it was quite stuck in the frame, if you notice, it's it's tightened up as far as it'll go, but it's still got a ridiculous amount of play. The other thing to note is that the bolt here is damaged. It should be a 6mm Allen key, but it's quite um, damaged there. We can't actually fit an Allen key into it. If I show you, what should fit quite nicely just can't get down. So I've got two approaches to try and resolve this. One is to use a, um, a Dremel to try and just open up the bits that have been burred over there and see if we can get the Allen key in there with a bit of tight purchase. Uh, and then the other is to probably cut a slot in it and then use a big fill, uh, flathead screwdriver. You can probably see here where someone's been trying to grab at it with a set of multi-grips or something like that. Anyway, once we get that off, we'll see um, why they weren't able to just tighten it properly and why it's got so much play on it. So I'm pretty sure that the bits um, that are stopping the Allen key uh, or hex wrench or whatever you call it from getting in there are just on the, the top there where it's been burred over, especially on this side. So I'm not going to go deep with this um, Dremel cutter. I'm just going to try and tidy up the top here and see if I, I don't want to damage um, the rest of the bolt there. I'd like to use it if possible. So obviously the risk is if you go too far, you'll round it out. And even if you get the Allen um, key in there, you're not going to get anywhere. So let's give this a shot. I think it's going in a little bit further than it was. I'll just keep tidying up and see if we can get a bit more purchase on it. Oh, I think we're getting somewhere. There's not, there's not a lot of purchase there. So what I'm going to do is soak this now with some um, penetrating oil and come back in about half an hour because I, I really can't put too much torque into that bolt head there. Okay, we've, we've let that soak now with a bit of penetrating oil and with the, quite a lot of downforce so it doesn't slip. And we've got it get in there and investigate why on earth this thing was tightened up so tight but still was so wobbly on the um, on the rails the previous owners tried to pat it out with sticky tape that's not going to work the rails aren't crushed maybe that one's got a slight bend in it so we've taken all this tape off and I don't know if you can see it on the camera there but there is a very slight bend in the rails and it's a bit of a chicken and egg scenario whether it was uh, bent and so you couldn't do the the seat bolt up properly um, and then so it kept rocking or if it wasn't done up properly which allowed it a bit of play which then caused the the damage to the seat rails anyway as far as the clamp goes nothing seems to be wrong with the clamp so what I've done is I've greased up the um, the bolt so we can get a nice even um, application of torque and we're going to try and install it and see if we can get it to install tight um, without any rock. I've also swapped over to a budget Allen key because I don't want to ruin my nice um, bondus on this dodgy bolt. So you might be limited with your forward and rear motion if you've got a little bend there because you, you're going to be trying to position this seat somewhere where you're going to get an even clamping force between the top and bottom clamp. Um, and then you just need to make sure that those clamps stay nice and square as you tighten it. And you should be able to tighten it with sufficient force without crushing your seat rails, your saddle rails. And hopefully avoid that wobble that we had in the first instance. Getting plenty of purchase on this Allen bolt since I've um, cleaned up those burrs. The wobble test. pretty good it's only flexing in the padding of the saddle excellent well I think we've rescued that one so uh, next step is to just tidy up this seat post 
and then it's actually a really nice saddle, no scratches or anything, so um, good hard rubbish find.